should you get your comic books pressed before submitting them to CGC? And if so, who should you get to press those books? Well, that's what we're going to be talking about today. And we're going to start off by looking at the pros and cons of getting your comic books pressed. So, of course, the biggest benefit to having your books pressed is that you can improve their condition and therefore potentially the grade they receive by eliminating defects like non-color breaking bins. And of course, this means then you have the potential to increase the value of your book because of course, if the grade is bumped one or two grades, then it's gonna be worth a bit more. And you can potentially increase your personal enjoyment of the book, even if you decide to hold on to it and not sell it. Because we all know there's obviously more bragging rights looking at an 8.5 book in your collection than just an 8.0. Plus, even if the grade doesn't increase, which isn't a guarantee to happen, you can have an 8.0 book that gets pressed and still come back in an 8.0. Even if that happens, the book will probably still at least look better. And so if you've got it in your PC, it will just be more enjoyable to pull it out and look at it and admire it without those bends and wrinkles and spine roll and other things that could be eliminated from it. So what are the cons of having your comic books pressed? Well, of course, the biggest con is that it costs money. So if you don't think a press has the potential to actually increase the grade on any given book, you might decide, hey, it's not worth the $15 or $20 to get this book pressed because I'm not going to get a return on that investment. Or you might say, hey, I'm never going to sell this book. I just want it for my PC. And so I'd rather hang on to this $15 to $20 so that I can go buy more comics with it. And that's fine. Another con to getting your books pressed is that it means, of course, an increased amount of time that it takes to get your books back from grading. And that can potentially decrease your whole enjoyment of the grading process because maybe you just want to get that book sent off, encapsulated, and back as soon as possible. And of course, having it pressed is going to delay that. Also, if you're planning to sell the book, it could potentially mean a loss of profit if it's one that you expect to start decreasing in price in the coming months because maybe a movie comes out and you know the value is going to go right down once the hype of the movie is over. And so you just think you need hey, this book back as soon as possible. Now, this isn't as much of a concern as it was a year or two ago. It seems like after the comic boom, fewer people are submitting their books. And so I know for sure CCS has caught up on their pressing times. Uh, a year ago, it was about a year, and now they're down to 15 days turnaround time. And so that is less of a factor than it was. But of course, at any given point, if we see a boom again, you might have tons of people submitting the books for pressing, and then there's just long wait where you are just dissatisfied not having your book in your hands and just wondering, oh man, am I going to miss out on the full potential of selling this book? Because maybe you could get 80% of the value if you didn't get it pressed, but you know if you can't sell it for another five months, then you're only going to get 50% of the value that you could now. And another con is that there's actually a potential for the book to be damaged in the pressing process. And this is especially true of older, brittle books. And, but even newer books, you know, whenever you're doing the pressing to the comic, things can happen, staples can pop. And so you might think the risk simply outweighs the potential benefits. However, for me personally, I will always have every single one of my books pressed before I had them graded by CGC. I just think the potential increase in value of the book makes it worth paying the money and even waiting the time to get it for me. Again, that's not for everyone, but that's certainly the case for me. And even if it is the case that some of these comics really end up coming back the same grade they would have gotten if I hadn't gotten them pressed, I think overall the vast majority will see some level of grade bump and again, then a corresponding increase in value and then just a personal enjoyment. So once you've decided to have your books pressed, who should you have press them? Well, the first option is just to use CCS, which is the in-house pressing company that CGC uses. And the pros of CCS include, first of all, I'm sure the greatest amount of experience of any presser in the world because they're just constantly getting books in and out and obviously they have a team of people doing it so any given person might not have that level of experience but as a company they have tons of experience and obviously the greater the experience you would think 
the more likely the book is to be pressed well. Also, sending them straight to CCS rather than some other third-party independent presser means that you have fewer shipments. It's just one right to them, they press it, and then they turn it over, I think like in the building next door, to CGC versus sending it off to someone in a shipment, and then they have to send it off to CGC. And this is a benefit because, first of all, obviously it saves on shipping costs. You know, I'd much rather only have to pay for one shipment than two, but also it lowers the chance that books can be damaged in shipping. Because anytime you put a book in the mail, you know the problems that I've had with USPS if you watch these videos, there's always a risk of damage happening. Now, the biggest con with CCS is that in my opinion, in my limited personal experience, is just that their quality is not as good as other independent pressers. And I'll talk about why I think other independent pressers do a better quality job in just a minute. But I submitted a bunch of comics to CCS about a year ago and half of them have come back and I'm hopeful that half of them will get here pretty soon. And looking at the books and the job they did, there are just clearly several pressable defects on some of the books. And I was just really let down by that. And there are some books that I'm pretty certain have defects that they didn't have when I sent them. Now, obviously there's no way to prove that that was caused by CCS. Once again, you know my struggles with USPS, so maybe something happened in shipping, or maybe somebody dropped the ball when they finally got to CGC. I mean, I don't really know, but I haven't had that problem with using another presser. So it just makes me a little nervous about CCS. Now, another con with CCS until recently was the horrible turnaround time. Once again, I have waited over a year for one of my shipments to get pressed by CCS, and I'm gonna make a video about this soon. Uh, and I actually had to call them and say, hey, wh what is going on? You said your turnaround time is this. It's been over a year. What's going on? And, and I will give CGC credit. They have excellent customer service. And so again, I'm gonna make a video and explain kind of how that situation turned out. It, it overall has turned out good. Uh, but the turnaround time had been atrocious, but they have gotten so much better. Now their turnaround time is 15 days. I mean, I don't know how they all of a sudden got that much faster. I really think that since the comic boom has kind of fallen away, that just fewer people are submitting the books or whatever, uh, but turnaround times are a lot better. And I'm hopeful this means that they are getting fewer books and that the quality can improve as they take more time with these fewer books. Instead of, I think during the comic boom, they probably just got so overwhelmed. They're just like, you know, trying to press as quickly as they can and, and, and trying to get these books out. Again, people like me on the phone, hey, it's been a year, what's going on? So there's all oh, shoot, there's rushing. And so I hope for their sake that they are able to improve their quality so that they can retain their customer base. And, and I would even consider using them again if it was clear that they improved the quality because the benefits, like I mentioned, especially of just having one shipment is great. And so I'd love to use CCS again, but it's just not happening anytime in the near future until I hear testimonies of their quality improving. Now, your second option for getting your books pressed is to go to another professional third-party independent presser. And there are tons of these, and I'll put a few of their names on the screen here, but you can go to their website and see pictures for yourself of how good of a job that they do. And the pros in going this direction is that generally they're gonna be cheaper than CCS. And again, in my limited experience, they're just gonna provide a better quality job. Both because I think they're not as rushed as CCS since I don't think they have to deal with the volume of books that CCS receives but also they're more incentivized to do a great job with their books because since they don't have as large of a customer base, every customer matters a lot more. And so they really wanna make sure that they retain their customers. And I think that then leads them to spend more time with the books and do a better job. Of course, that's obviously some bit of speculation going on. I've never been and watched them actually do pressing. That's just the feeling that I get. Now the cons for this option is that there is the potential for actually a lower quality job than CCS, especially if you don't go to a reputable presser who has a good amount of experience. Plus, the turnaround is mediocre. It has been better than CCS until maybe recently with CCS's better times. 
but kind of mediocre compared to my next option. So the next option is learn to press your books yourself. And the pros of this is obviously a super fast turnaround time. You just press them and then you send them to CGC. Secondly, it's obviously a lot cheaper because you're not paying someone to press your books, even though, yeah, you have to pay some for different materials, but it's just gonna be a lot cheaper. But most importantly is that I think this option gives you the greatest potential to have the highest quality pressing possible simply because no one is going to care for your books the way that you are. Even a great presser does not care for your books the way that you will. And so you are gonna be much more willing to invest the time to improve the condition of your book. And so this is a great reason to learn to press your books yourself. But on the flip side, one of the biggest cons with this option is that you have the potential to have the lowest quality job of pressing because you just are not gonna have the amount of experience that someone else does. And another con is that it's gonna cost you a lot more time to press your books yourself. First of all, just trying to learn how to do it all. And then secondly, obviously with each book, there's amount of time that you have to invest to improve its condition. And of course, time is money. And so this is one of the biggest factors of why I personally have not started to press my books myself is that I just want to save time. You know, I have a family, I have a lot of kids, and I already spend a lot of time in this hobby, and I just don't feel like I have more to give to it unless like I wasn't buying and selling, which I want to do more than I want to press. And so for the sake of my family, I haven't started to press my own comic books. And another con that is a factor, at least for me, I don't think this would be a con for everybody, but the stress that would come from pressing your own books, because I have certainly OCD-ish tendencies. And I mean, I would, you know, when I was in college, I would write a paper and I would reread it over and over and over again. And if I think I was pressing my own books, I would just press them so many times and just never feel satisfied. And I'd also be freaking out, oh man, am I going to damage this really pricey book? And, and just that stress, I think, is something, at least at this point, that I can't deal with. Maybe one day, but I still get stressed out when I ship a book. And I don't think there's nearly as much potential in just packing and shipping a book as there is in potentially pressing it. And so that brings me to my final option. And this is one that isn't available to everyone, but recently became available to me. And I'm trying it out for the first time. So in a few months, I'll be able to report whether or not it went well. You know, you see me do this unboxing and I'm freaking angry, you know, like, oh, it didn't go well. But I, I'm, I'm very hopeful that it's gonna be a, a pleasant unboxing. And this option is finding a friend who presses their comic books and who is willing to press yours for you. Obviously, you, know, you should compensate them. And, and so I've recently had that opportunity. I have a friend that I've met through this hobby and he presses his comic books and I've seen what they've come back as and I've been really impressed. And so he offered to help me with mine and obviously I'm paying him, you know, the same that I would pay some third party independent presser. And I'm looking forward to seeing the job that he's going to do. And one of the pros about this approach is that a friend is gonna care about your book almost as much as you do. And there's obviously no way that even a great friend is gonna care about your book as much as you, but if it's a good friend, they're gonna be the next best option in terms of actually caring for your book. And my friend, I've been really impressed in our communication. You know, he's mentioned you know, for the same price uh, that he's going to press it as many times as he feels needs to be done until that book is at its optimal quality. And so I'm really thankful for that and, and really excited to see these books come back. And of course, another pro to this approach is that it just saves time. And, that, and that's the big reason why I'm doing this. And you know, I wanna help my friend too. He's really into this hobby and I think he enjoys pressing. And I hope even though he won't be as excited as I will, 
that he'll still find a lot of joy in seeing me eventually unveil those grades and knowing, oh, look at the job I did. You know, because I've done manual labor in the past, like put on roofs. And, you know, it's a work of art. You know, when you, when you work on a roof all day and you step back at the end of the day and you say, wow, I did that. I hope my friend is able to have that same experience when he sees the grades that we get back, <laughs> unless you know, like he screws it up, which I'm not thinking that he is. Um, but I, I hope he will be like able to look and say, wow, I, I did that. I was able to help my friend. And, and certainly I will be blessed by that, but I hope that he is as well. And so another pro with this approach is that I do think it will build my friendship with my friend as we you know, work on this project kind of together. But that brings me to the cons of this approach. My friend, of course, is much less experienced than someone who has been doing this professionally. And so there is the possibility that he just doesn't do as good of a job. Now, again, I've seen books that he's pressed for his own collection and gotten back, and I've been really impressed by them. So I feel the probability of that happening is, is pretty low. But it is a risk that I'm running. And uh, you know, six months, I might have an update video and be like, never hire a friend to press your comic books. And, and that brings me to the other potential con. Again, I don't think it's going to happen here. But anytime you do business with a friend, it's tricky. So let's say that nightmare scenario happens where I get the books back and he clearly did a terrible job on them. Then you know, obviously I wouldn't be happy about that. And, and then I would tell him and then you know, that could lead to some friction in and, and our friendship. And you know, again, I don't think that's going to happen in my case, but there's always the potential for it. So you just got to be careful before ever entering into any kind of business contract with a friend. Uh, that there's good communication, and hopefully that you're both committed to working out any issue that would arise. And I know I am, and I'm hopeful my friend would be if there were something like that. So those are my thoughts about pressing, but I'd be curious to hear if you can think of any other pros and cons with any of these approaches, and leave that in the comments below, or ask a question, or just recommend a certain service to get pressed. You know, feel free to Put a link in the comments below for anyone who is watching this video to see if you have any recommendations. And if you press comic books and you're looking to drum up a little bit of business, feel free to leave your own information in the comments below where people can get in contact with you. And of course, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd appreciate if you'd consider doing so as we're starting to march towards 600. I would really appreciate your support. Like the video, help us get in that YouTube algorithm. Thanks for watching, and as always, I look forward to the next one.